So lovely to be with you ladies this evening. Um, Paula, I will start with you. For, as someone with a background from SNL, how do you approach doing a show about solving murders? <laughs> I Well, you know, we really came at it in such a comedy way that it didn't feel that much different. But I did have to sometimes rein back when I think of things on the fly and I, and we'd come up with a new joke uh, on the fly that didn't work with the procedural aspect of it, where, you know, John's got a really much better brain for that, where he would say, Oh, we actually can't do that because that person ends up killing that person. So if you say that, you know, it was much more, so many more rules because you're following an actual uh, murder mystery so, you know, as opposed to all the insane stuff I've written where it didn't really matter, no one was keeping track of the plot. So <laughs> this was a little bit more tricky that way. Right, I can certainly imagine. And Haley, you play the niece of um, Paula's character. So how were your scenes working together throughout the series? Well, I've said it before and I will say it again. It was awful. <laughs> It was a dream. It was just like such a dream. It was, um, she's generous and, and kind. And I'm going to have to like think of some, more, I mean, just like more superlatives um, just because she's about as good as you can imagine. And a real, a real GD inspiration. So um, I would have paid them <laughs> we had a blast we had so much fun oh i hope we just make more and more and more of them i uh so many more people to kill <laughs> yeah i mean that's just part of it it's part of the biz people will have to die and for us to be able to keep continuing to do our show that we enjoy that's very funny. Uh, JB Smooth kind of says something akin to that. So, um, Paula, has there been any whispers of a season two or right now it's just getting out season one? Yeah, I think everything because the timing of everything this year has been so strange because of the pandemic. I, you know, no, there's not a normal uh, path of it came out and we premiered the, the streaming it was all very sort of stutter stepped out so now we're you know we're gonna get it out it's gonna be done in terms of being released out in its completion within a month so I think you know it we'll see how the reaction is we're getting great reaction already with people seeing the trailers and everything and I think people are needing to laugh and also just have something sort of really strange that isn't scary because everything now is strange and scary and so this is just strange and funny. <laughs> certainly a nice reprieve um Haley what would you say is your favorite aspect about playing your character um I think I I loved about Heidi that I think that she sort of um represents a little bit more of the audience and so when everything's going on that is truly so absurd and very incorrect about how you maybe treat a crime scene that a lot of the time that she's like, hey, yo, um, this probably isn't right, yeah? Um, so I love that, but also that she very quickly adopts such an insensitivity around death a lot of the time. Um, and it's just like this fun, weird thing. Oh, God. I love I loved how dark she was where she's like, I love murder. Like, you know, I, it's the perfect, it's a perfect foil or, or just sidekick for Abigail because they are both fascinated by solving it and they're not spending a lot of time getting into the emotionality of it. Right, absolutely. Well, so they're, psychopath they're, they're sociopaths. <laughs> Who doesn't need a good sociopath in their life, right? <laughs> um, well, I'm certainly excited for everyone to check out this series. And it was lovely speaking with both of you. I do have to wrap it up right now. But I really hope that the reception continues to be really great for this show. Thank you again, ladies. Thank you so Thanks. much for your support. Thanks. Great Thanks. meeting you. Yeah.